Hey everyone, it's the Groovy Power Hour, and you're here chilling with Koi, Tavares, and Solana. What's going on, KWJT? We're back. Back at it. KWJT with another episode with the two hosts, my brother Corey. <laughs> Bro, you're talking like somebody's behind you with a gun on us. I just be trying to get these <laughs> these episodes got to get right. You feel me? I got it. What's going on, y'all? Thank you for joining us for uh, for another week, another installment of the Groovy Tapes. We really appreciate all the Groovers at home. Um, y'all been really going nuki and supporting the uh, brother episodes, so we really appreciate you guys tapping in with our our new shit. That's a fact. Uh, it's definitely becoming more and more uh, prevalent. We're gonna keep uh, coming at you guys every week with more and more brother activities. Uh, so yeah, let's uh. Let's get uh let's uh, let's jump into it. Um we've been moving and grooving about the city all day and you know back and forth from Tacoma to Seattle and a uh, real funny uh instance happened. We got put on with a, a Seattle or this is an anonymous Seattle tier rapper list or excuse me. An anonymous Seattle rapper tier list. Uh, <laughs> I, I jump. I, I was fucking that shit. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into that, are you nervous, brother? <laughs> oh no, no, I'm I'm over here <laughs> having a great time. You're so professional, right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being interviewed. <laughs> That's why I'm asking because you're just like, hello. Yeah, no, because I, I I really. I, this is another way. I'll be fucking up. <laughs> Corey so makes it look great. <laughs> Corey really holds it together, but I'll be fucking up on these episodes. <laughs> so we got a so we got a rapper tier list. Yeah, we got a rapper tier list. Um I'm gonna give it to you guys straight. Uh we're we're gonna start well, first and foremost, it just sparked up a conversation amongst a lot of people. It's it's trending or not really trending, but it's, it's amongst conversation right now, currently, as we're talking. Um, all the homies are talking about it. There's people, you know, bringing it up. It's on Twitter, you know. Some some anonymous user on TikTok made up a, a tier list of uh, past, present, you know, uh, MCs of Seattle. Yeah. And uh, Hold on. We start from the bottom or the top? We're going to start from S tier, just to get out the way. Because um, I got... I got one solid joke for F, so I'll save. <laughs> so, because it goes, uh, this this is how the tier is from top to bottom: S, A, B, C, D, E, F, um, and that's the bottom. Um, and let's go right up in there. Uh, S tier, we got Travis Thompson, uh, Lil Mosey, J Park, Macklemore, and I'm gonna butcher the fuck out of this, but this is Ryan Car- Car- Caravale. Um, that's S tier. Uh, Do you know who Ryan Caravelle is? No, oh, no, no, I don't. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna touch on that real quick. I don't. If you do know, if, if Groovers uh, do know, put them put put us on. Um, uh, throw them in our DMs. We're gonna check them out. Throw a slap or something. Uh, A tier. We got Juice the God, Tupe TK, Dave B, Ill Chris, Charlie on a Friday, uh, Adam Nystrom. Sorry if I uh, mispronounced that. And then Holly Michelle. Um, I'm going to keep it rolling. Koi, please. You know what to do. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It's so fucking funny. B, (laughs) Uh, B, we got Nacho Picasso, Paris Alexa, Tana Money, PMO Showtime, TBG, uh, Daniel Proper Yates, uh, Louie, and Creeps. C tier, we got Cam- uh, Campana. Uh, we got Key, uh, Sam LaChow, uh, Gifted Gab, Kid Cambo, uh, artist named Noah, uh, Keyshawn, and Zayside. So, so far we did S, A, B, and C. Um, this is tier D. 
We got Damon Elbert, Soul, South and Siva, uh, Jay Key, uh, Ellis Prescott, Spuck and Ray, and I'll Fight You. And then uh, here's the last two tiers. We got E, uh, South South, Isaac Jacuzzi, Highway, Band Kid J, Xavier Weeks, Katil, and uh, Marshall Law Band. And then Tier F, uh, Mac Ned, 28 Ave, Raz Simone, AJ Swade, uh, KK Walkhard, and Sir Mix a Lot. <laughs> so, where do you want to start as far as this list? Yeah, list immediately, first and foremost, Nuki is going real crazy. <laughs> uh, can we start with F? We, we, we can't start with that. Why is Sir Miss, Miss a lot the last name on the tier? That's tough. Low key. He got Sir actually, Miss a lot fucked up. Actually, first and foremost, before we really get into the nitty gritty, shout out to all the Seattle uh, artists. Okay, facts. Um, oh my fucking God. I did. I, I almost, I consciously forgot the, the hand clap button. Uh, anyways, first and foremost, shout out to the Seattle music artists uh, that made this uh, anonymous uh, tier list. And then also shout out to the home music scene. We love you guys. I don't know. We might touch on like making our own list, but like it is what it is. We, we I just thought it would be funny to bring this up or, you know, um, great to talk about because, you know, not too many lists are going now or I no. guess it's enough in the music scene where we can have these kind of things. No, we... I don't. I don't know if anybody really makes a list from the city, and if mm. they do, I don't really see them. Um, but this list is crazy, crazy, cra- crazy, crazy. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Start with fifth. Uh, Sir Mixalot. Uh, I mean F. Sir Mixalot being like the general, like the, the artist that kind of cracked the door open in a lot of ways. Being, being F. On, being on the F list. Last. Whoa! Being on the F lift and last on the F lift is crazy. <laughs> Someone on Twitter was like, "What did what did Sir Mix a Lot do to him <laughs> or her um, to like one make it on the list?" But like, nah, bro, you at the bottom. You ain't doing enough today to to be in the the culture. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, I feel like things like this, um. Do great to like spark conversation on like who the city's looking at and who who should be on a list and who shouldn't be on a list. Um, it's kind of it's it's crazy to me to see a lot of the the artists that we've had on <clears throat> on the pod that's been doing it for over ten years make anything less than the B list because uh, that's kind of crazy to have like a ten year long career and you're like a like a D or E, like that's fucking sick. Like, um, I don't know. It, it, it's hilarious because it's like anybody who really like values themselves in the industry will just find it funny. It's just like, nigga, I, I know I'm not on the list with these niggas, but it also just shows like, it just sparks a conversation of where you actually sit in the city. And like Mm -hmm. I, in like a fun way, I would hope a lot of artists would speak on where they actually should sit on the list without being like, without attacking other people, just because a lot of people have been doing it for, uh, what the fuck, Bonita strikes again. Um, a lot of people have been doing it for so long where it's just like, Oh, I'm, there's, there's no fucking way I'm an F-tier artist or I'm a D-tier artist or things like that. Or some artists who shouldn't be higher than a C right now just because they don't have the longevity or they haven't been doing things for a certain amount of time is where I would hope, like, the conversation could go. I know everybody's just going to see it and laugh about it. Um, Trav probably had one of the best comments on it. It's like, this is why people don't fuck with me because <laughs> niggas be putting me on the S-tier. <laughs> They be thinking motherfuckers is, is making these lists. Like, what the hell? No, I, I've. 
having having highway on E is just like that's you, so crazy. You kind of you're, you're kind of learning the perspective of the masses and uh or at least someone from the outside i don't know if they're directly involved again this is anonymous we don't know who made the list um but it's a list that's out and you know a lot, a lot of people love to talk about it but have a high this is, e is so disrespectful yeah, the, that's the, so the, disrespectful. just the per- perspective of like if you would tear out the music scene if you would do this this is how you feel about these certain people's like bodies of work and like what they're doing and do we incorporate impact doing do we do we incorporate involvement like what do we I how are no we idea. tearing this what's the criteria um which makes it you know this is like people will put this in the air i think this is like this this happens in major cities and in yeah. their, in their music scene and within their communities so there's a dude who did this in la that was on no jumper that literally was getting death threats from certain parts of people from LA, <laughs> no. had, but his list was crazy. Like he had blast as like a D tier artist, but he had like a real breakdown. Like he was really giving them like grades and shit like that based on certain things. So I understand where he comes at it, um, as far as critiquing. But in the I don't know in the same vein, like as media is meant to comment on things, I don't know. When we get into ranking and you don't really do the artistry, I'm I'm on the fence about it because you can put a list, you can put a tier like we could put a tier list together, but it it wouldn't represent like actually what's going on, right? Or just what I'm listening to because that's kind of what the list felt like of just like <clears throat> artists I'm listening to or would like to get to know, and then everybody else I kind of just see. Um, I don't know, because there's just certain aspects about it where I'm just like, like, the certain mix a lot thing is crazy. Like, the certain mix a lot, the highway thing, it, it's like having them so low on the tier just because highway has been reaching, like, certain accolades over the last year, year and a half, whether it's, like, um, their Lyrical Lemonade uh, write-up, you know, his music the videos. Jetson, going, Jetson project the Jetson project like things like that where it's just like those are notable things in the city maybe it's like I don't know it just makes you think like maybe he they don't feel as tangible to mm-hmm. highway and that's why he was ranked that way but I don't know fucking E is fucking crazy bro <laughs> um, hey uh I'm I don't know if I can be honored but I'm like crazy that I'm even part of the conversation that was a real that was a real oh okay they they threw me in there. Now I feel like you've earned uh, your spot on the tier list. I would have loved to seen you higher, but um, I'm not mad at where you're at. Yeah, gives me a lot of room to grow. I I, I was like to even be mentioned. Sometimes I I don't ever be making the list. This this actually <laughs> I feel like this is the first list I've ever made. <laughs> and he used the new cover, so it wasn't even about you like know, same we're, thing. We're, so you know, we're from the south too, baby. Um, yeah, definitely feel like uh, the C tier, especially could like you got to kind of bump to to say these some of these artists in C tier were were in C. Yeah, you kind of have to you got to put Key up in there. You got to put Key and Gab. Both and, of them and been, Gab. Both of them been in the like legitimate industry. For 10 years. Yeah. You know, so it's like when I think about Without this, a doubt. when I think about the list, I'm like, okay. Like, Gab's hanging out with Sugar Free and, yes. and, and DJ Quick. Yes. The, like, the like, DJ Quick. Like, like, bro, you, you can't put that in like, in tier C, bro. Like, Q was a part of so many Fucking, infra, like uh, instrumental parts of hip hop today. So it's just like. OG Raider Clan, like. There's just certain things where you could just look at it and be like, oh, that's. It's like, how are you assessing this? Yeah, or just like what you, do you just, mean by this? You just seen a bunch of people who interact on Twitter, and just like, all right, we're gonna rank them based off. Oh, I ran out. There's only five slots here. I ran out. Got to add them to C or D or whatever. Um, so those that that's just interesting to me. I remember when we were having a conversation. Um, we we're surprised Mike Jack didn't make the the list, but Facts. you know, take it with a grain of salt. Honestly, don't think too heavy on the list. But it's I I I for one see a difference in. And like what it could be, yeah. You know, it could be a, a talking shit point. It could be like, oh, we can we can down this list, or we can like continue to make great lists. 
and continue to push out more and more like these are the people who are changing their communities and like, you know I'm, things like that i mean i would love to see the o- i i feel like lists are more of an og standpoint i feel like if you can actually look at the landscape and have seen enough people come and go you can kind of put together a list of people who are s tier to f tier and do it in a way that's not harmful. It's more like, nah, bro, you, you're you're making noise, but you're not making as much noise as uh, such and such. You know, like I feel like those things, like they put, they put South South and E, and I'm not even like, I, that's all the bias aside. Like I love, I love G Baby. I love I love uh, Shot of Pistol, but like they've reached accolades that like puts them beyond yeah beyond E. And you you're totally correct that. Uh, some people's like top fifties be blowing my mind. Like when I think about like people who really assess the game yeah. and, and really put together like their thoughts behind uh, what the hip hop has to offer uh, has to offer regionally. You know, yeah. I see a lot of those. So, no, nah, I feel like um, I don't know. It's a very, it's definitely an interesting topic of a conversation for the Saturday, um, where I feel like. Yeah, it's it could have been better, but like you know, it it's not. They didn't do it in a way where they started shitting on like the next uh, TikTok or whatever. It's not them shitting on people or things like that. So I do think their assessment of the industry is off, but um, not terribly off. Like there are certain people that I had no idea who they are, but. <clears throat> That, uh, that just means I, I got to do more research to the mm-hmm. city. Because um, there's some people that wouldn't have made that list if I were making the list just because I wouldn't have thought about them as, like, in the, in the culture or in the city, for real, for real. Um, but there, that's just because there's certain people I just weren't aware of or aren't as... Um, outside or doing, like, the, the things today... Um, to make the list for me, but uh, no knock to that that person. Um, you should come uh, continue to do it. Uh, I would like to see it with like more albums and things of that nature. Give us some more shit to talk about. Um, because you know that's someone else's perspective on the city. You know, we we are able to give ours and react to those things now and like bring them up to conversations. So I would love, um. Uh, whoever that is continues making lists and continues that conversation. Cause it just gives more chance for people to comment on where they feel like they are mm-hmm. and, um, you know, back it with certain like, nah, I'm doing this or this is coming or things of that nature. It just, it's a, it's a cool way for our city to like react off free promo, you know? Oh, shit, I get gut shots. Man. But um, I think that is dope. Um, no, nah, I'm not. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna end it on that that topic. Oh, I, okay. I, no, I, I wanted to. You know, lo- enough about lists. Let's. Uh, th- there was a very interesting topic brought up on the this uh, this week's Twitter. Um, we had asked uh, what what we should talk about, and Corey actually responded. Oh shit! And. Yeah, uh, yeah. Corey, Corey had uh, wanted to ask about uh, what my biggest fear was yeah. or have me talk about it on the podcast. Um, and uh, I've been thinking about it uh, over over the days now. I think it was a couple days. Um, I broke it up into two questions or two answers. There's uh, one of my true biggest fears, if I can be point blank honest, on the podcast is definitely not being able to reach or achieve the next step in my goal. Um, just the, the fear of like complacency and like not being able to see past the, the passion and what I do is what I really thought of when you had asked that question and yeah. I seen it. Um, and I really wanted to get to the nitty gritty because beyond that being one of my biggest fears 
I'm really scared of spiders. <laughs> and I think that's what I think that's what Corey wanted. Oh yeah. Wanted yeah. to uh really really get to. So that's how I broke up the question. Um it gets crazy out here, but spiders, you guys, I'm so definitely afraid. Hey, if I can give them a few They're getting they're getting sprayed up. Uh, I can't even I can't deal with like tarantula hair. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I, I look at that and I get physically weak. Weak. Uh, nah, bro. Nah, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm kind of getting scared, bro. Because I'm just thinking about like the wolf spider. Like I I like stayed next to for a little second. For a second, I stayed in the garage in my house. You know, the garage gets swifty in there. What made you afraid of spiders? Bro, when we were younger, my my cousin got bit by a, a brown recluse. What is a brown recluse? A brown recluse is like one of the most poisonous uh, spiders. That's um, fucking insane. In in the world, it's like it's it's a uh, native to Amer- the Americas. Yeah. So it's possible that it come it, um like most commonly, it's found on produce like banana crates and like fruit 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 crates and shit. But beyond all that, I don't know how the fuck this brown recluse pulled up in the south end. I'm <laughs> sick. I'm sick. Because uh, the only way we knew it was a brown recluse is because his flesh started melting. And that's what happens when the acid, the toxins from the uh, uh, toxins from the poison or, or venom. Yeah, venom. Insects have venom. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> that's what happens when uh, it starts to break down in your body. Your, your flesh starts to melt. And I watched my cousin's. Uh, flesh melt and I was like yeah how old were you uh I think I was like he was like 16 and I was like 10 yeah that would okay I would deadly fuck, I would fuck and and black widows that. were very common in the neighborhood I was growing up so I would just see black widows all the time I would just be petrified scary <laughs> scary Eddie boy I'm Spires telling you I'm scary, making you cross the street yeah <laughs> Our block Siva. Yeah, honestly, I could hear the the, the spiders talking. <laughs> shit. That's how deadly it was. Get on that side of the block. It's ours. That's fucking hilarious. Um, so I asked you in the car, uh, what is the eldest you would date uh, an attractive uh, older lady? I guess that that's the that's the clean up. That's like the center version of mm-hmm. how you ask that question. Mm-hmm. Um, so what like what's your age limit as far as like dating? Well, I told you in the car eighty five. <laughs> that would be the eldest I would I would tap in with a a, a beautiful woman. <laughs> Why eighty five? Why did you that, just throw that. your Why did you just throw your hand like that? It's nothing. Eighty five, bro. I might have done ninety. I'm a I'm a shysty guy, man. Nah, I mean like the eighty five year old. If she was if she was bracking at me, uh, I broke it down like this. If she was bracking at me, and and we're talking about like a wow, oh, oh wow, <laughs> beautiful elder woman, wow. 85. She was 85. So, like, like, yes, sir. That's like Betty White. Tough. That's like, that's like Betty White. No, nah, Betty White's a little 99. Old. She made it 99. So, Betty White 10 years ago. Yes. Most definitely. <laughs> there is no shame in my game. That's, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Uh, Okay, I'm not gonna co sign you, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> no, no, love no, what no. you love, you know. You might see Tavares out here uh, in Madison Park, <laughs> you know, with your grandma. <laughs> hey, you, you know what's really cool ground. about that? It's 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> KWJT. It's 25 minutes from the crib. <laughs> no, no, no. No. 
No, no, I was just twenty. Oh, I thought you were talking about from the house. <laughs> granny, granny only heard a Tacoma. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'm gonna pull up. I'm about that. Put me in, coach. <laughs> hey, Groovers. Please continue to tap in with these brotherly episodes, man. Uh, we've been moving and grooving. Been getting real shy. Put the weed down. <laughs> Put the weed down. <laughs> don't, don't, don't spark no Just make it stop for a full 15 <laughs> second. Hey, groovers. Listen, if you continue to fuck with the uh, content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe or subscription if you haven't already. Um, we're trying to run up the channel. You guys got us at what? I think we're at like 780 right now. So uh, please, please, we're trying to, uh, we're getting to more content, trying to start our streaming. Um, Facts. So please follow us on, on Twitch as well, Groovy Tapes. Um, KWJT, you've been grooving with the South. You got Corey. And Tavares. <laughs>